Just come and do a beachcomb find. See if there's any names on them. I'm gonna turn the camera away. So I do have a name that I can get a hold of to get their gear back to them. Got another float. A little bit of goose particles. Got another float. It's extremely windy. I haven't been videoing these because I thought maybe someone put garbage on the beach. But I'm gonna show it to you. It's a little tore up and tattered. They come out to be about six to seven feet by seven feet. They have a stitched border on them. And they're little children's pads, little blankets or whatever for them to crawl around on the floor on. So I believe now that I'm finding lots of these, that they're off of a container, off of a container ship that got lost. Another nice little float. Just a little net float. This is a child's play mat. There's several of these on the beach now. I've been collecting and uh, I feel that these came off of a container ship that got lost uh, in a container and uh, popped open and spread them about the ocean. I'll be collecting this one up uh, as well. Got another float right there. Rain subsiding, I'll jump out of the truck to go get it here in a second. There's another one of them mats. It's all rolled up like someone rolled it up and put it here. Now it's covered in sand. Uh, I suppose the winds could have done this, but uh, I'll get it cleaned up off the beach. Just watch this ball roll in with the surf. Too bad it wasn't a glass float. Well, I found a broken one of these and I didn't even realize what it was. It had a flotation underneath and the cage was mostly missing. This has to be some form of a live container for maybe oysters. I'm not sure. It's definitely different. Different way it's made. Found another one. Very interesting. I know it's still dark out. I'm going to show this as I find it. And then we'll show it a little later. Brand new like with goose barnacles on it. It has zip ties, straps still connected, and it's a kid's riding helmet. This might have come off of a container ship. Hundred percent container ship. Here's the first one, here's the second one, a red one and an orange one. I knew it. <laughs> this is cool. Two different designs. Everything's still there packaged, zip ties, there's goose barnacles on it. Oh yeah, now I have two. I'll probably find some more guessing. When you're looking for glass floats, this is where it starts with. You see a ball, it's dark in color. You get closer, it's greenish. Balls. It's just a squishy rubber ball. <laughs> I either just found a 2022 hidden glass float or a Japanese authentic one. Let's find out. Gonna roll it around a bit. Twenty twenty. Huh. So this is uh two years ago. Wow. I don't see a two on it. Well, that's neat all right but it was hidden by somebody all righty cool all right out of the wind well 
this is a different one anyway uh definitely part of the same spill because these zip ties aren't removed either but it has kind of a lego track kind of neat so perfect yeah <laughs> definitely container ship spill Looks like the similar helmet, same paint job, but it's white up on top with black tips. Hopefully you can hear me, <laughs> trying to block the wind. Okay, this one looks like an exact one to the first one I found this morning. Oh, wow, there's a lot of barnacle growth on here. These look kind of shiny and new. That's a lot of barnacles. Now, the other ones have some barnacles on them, but this one's got a lot of big barnacles. So I'm pretty amazed how shiny it is. It's got the strap still connected. Yeah, this is number five. So, yeah, awesome. So, as I'm driving along, I kind of look slowly along the shoreline for different plastic floats uh, from Japan or other areas. I don't really collect the commercial crab floats that are around here because there's an abundance of them and I leave them for other people. We've had so much debris come to shore after these storms and these storms are uh, coming from the south. And usually we don't get as much debris when it's coming from the south. It's gotta be a northwest wind and we're getting debris coming to shore. Uh, the main two things off of container ships that I can guarantee are these children's play mats and those helmets now, uh, the bike helmets or skateboard helmets. Anyway, as I drive along here, I kind of just slow drive and I look up into the back pockets. Right there, there's a net, some sort of a net I want to go up and look at. So I'll do it right here with you. Let's park the truck for a second here. Get out of the rig. Take a peek. Wind's blowing pretty heavy, so it's kind of hard to talk in it. Don't know how much you're hearing me. But I'll look up these back pockets for something that catches my eye. And after I found that first bicycle helmet outside the... Uh, on the beach on a high tide. But it wasn't all the way up in these dunes. I started looking harder. Yes, you see all the garbage? I've been collecting this stuff since my last video. I started picking up more garbage and uh, getting it to the garbage cans. And mine gets full all the time. And I've also picked up garbage along the way, uh, bags of garbage that people are hauling just to haul it for them because they've got extra garbage bags. So if you're out here on the Westport Grayland beaches, please do your part and fill up a garbage bag. I'm asking that because we're getting a lot of these this foam this styrofoam coming in a lot of it looks like packing foam like it came possibly off of the containers that were lost because it's been coming in just as thick as you would think when the with those blankets coming in this is what I mean about these uh, I said blankets but they're children's play mats Anyway, there's just too many of them coming to shore for me to collect. They fill up a garbage can pretty quick. Someone already rolled this up and put it here. I'm going to leave it because we're going to be doing a beach cleanup here pretty soon. And uh, this is definitely part of a container ship. So watch. Here's one. I've already collected one that I either got on film or I didn't. But it's right there. And then I've got my helmets that I've collected. So I, this is number 11 I think I have at home. It's just too much stuff. This goes with this. I'll show you. I point, it, I point out this stuff in here. We'll see that underneath is a... Uh, I'm going to put this down. That goes with that oyster bag. That's a, uh, a a float to help hold this bag up. 
I know you can't hardly see it, but it's in there under the helmets. So here's a better uh, thing that I can show you. This is the oyster bag. That's the buoy that holds it up and it just keeps the oysters moving back and forth in the, at the oyster farm. And then when we have these wind storms, they get washed out to sea and then they show up. This one's probably been here a little while, so the oysters are probably all dead if they're even in here. So I'll get back to you when I uh, get it cleaned out. And fortunately all the oysters are dead. They're dead, they've been here a while. They just got buried up by the sand and then they uh, choked up and died. They're, they're clean inside too, they haven't... Uh, it's been a while since they've been dead, but here's the bag empty. So I'll be taking this with me. I have someone that I know that uses them. So it's gonna be trash off the beach. This is a commercial crab bait container known as a Scotty. It's for putting uh, crab bait in the crab traps. Up here, I don't know what type of a container this is. It floats, I believe it floats uh, upside down. I have two at home that I showed in the video already, but it floats and uh, some sort of seafood stays in there fresh. So just looking along here and yeah. Hey, okay, here are my uh, helmet finds. Of course I got that children's play mat in the back. This one here is a little different, but it has the same pattern as these other two. Then I got these two different ones. That's got the little bit of space on it. This one here, kind of a groovy looking one. Anyway, uh, I have posted these and somebody reached out and told me that uh, the company wants to see about getting some of these shipped out to them so they could study them. Plus, I guess uh, up at Claylock Beach, Washington, there was one found. Long Beach, Washington, there was four found. And then another one down south along the Oregon border. And I really, or somewhere down there, Tillamook Garibaldi area, I really don't know the town's name. I can't remember it. But uh, they're tracking these now. Obviously with the heavy goose barnacle growth on them, these have been out there a while and they're pretty shiny, almost new-like. Every one of them has zip ties on them showing that they were indeed uh, tied down to a box and the box disintegrated out there, the cardboard. So anyway, I'm showing these right now and I'm yelling into the camera because of the wind. Hopefully you've heard, you can hear me. Um, I may not have these by the time I do my wrap-up. I might have already gotten rid of them and uh, I hope to find more. They're kind of fun. It's like a scavenger hunt for treasure that's garbage basically. So stay tuned for the wrap-up. These may or may not be in there. thought I would show you uh, how many play mats I have and the helmets that I'm uh, getting ready to get rid of quite a pile of them and these are just the whole ones I could roll up the rest were scraps that I had to throw in the garbage can garbage cans always full though so uh, I can't uh, do this a lot do your part please clean up sometimes when you find this stuff it's just a bunch of garbage to people these I repurpose I turn them into planters these helmets some of them are going to go back uh, to the manufacturer to be uh, maybe studied Then you got the oyster farm You have possible oysters or clams that's farmed You have this big children's play mat size of a it is basically the size of a queen-size bed I'll flip it over on the other side here Kind of beautiful colors. I Now have 11 whole ones of these they're damaged, they have holes in them. I'm just talking hole with the border. But they're just massive pieces that are just scraps. I uh, dumped a bunch in the garbage can today to fill, or yesterday to fill it up for the garbage today. Anyway, I'll get close to these. These I believe float upside down, like that. And then they have the shellfish underneath for farming. 
or storage. Now I've been finding them like this where they're tore open. I believe that's a seal or a river otter or a sea otter but I believe a river otter. Both are tore open like that. This one too. I think they got in there and ate what was in there. Anyway this the oyster bag in the surf it just floats back and forth moving the oysters around and they're strung up on a long cable some more buoys from the oyster farm you have these buoys there some of them have Japanese writing some of them don't we call these hippo floats all these because they kind of have a hippo look I cut them to make them look like a frog I call these globe floats because they have the latitude longitudinal lines in them you can see that I call this a football float there's a basketball over there um, anyway container ship loss clearly clearly <laughs> so anyway on this beach combing run uh, if you enjoyed this please press like uh, please share with a friend share it uh, this helps me go a long ways to making more videos for sure hit the notification bell and if you haven't already, I'm asking, please subscribe to my channel. I like to do this stuff on the beach. It's treasure. <laughs> so, once again, thank you for watching.